controller, I love video games, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, it really don't matter to me, man, who ready to play, hold up, the game here got something to say, pass the controller, I love video games, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, it really don't matter to me, man, who ready to play, hold up, hey, what's up everybody is... out there, it's your boy God Shepherd, coming back at you with another video, uh, this video that I'm doing here is just to make you aware of some uh, issues that you may have uh, concerning your Xbox One controller. Uh, today, I ran into this particular issue. Uh, I was playing my game, Quantum Break, baby. Yeah, that game is awesome. If you haven't played it, go check it out. Uh, great game. But anyway, I was playing the game, and um, my controller was working just fine. I was playing with this bad boy right here. It was working just fine. I laid it down, ran to go do a few things, came back, controller was still on, but uh, none of my triggers, joysticks, whatever, uh, the D-pad, buttons, the keyboard, nothing was responding. And it was still synced. I kept trying to sync it. It, it was synced like it's supposed to, but it still wouldn't function as far as the controls. So um, I was doodling around with it, trying to figure out you know, what I could do to get it to work, because uh, I'm an electronic freak. I like to figure something out. It was either that or I was going to... No, no, I wasn't going to do that. Um, my, my wife would beat me up, too, you know, if I broke this stuff. Anyway, no, but you guys get me. You... you you get angry and you're ready to throw one of these or throw your stuff up beside the wall or rip your disc out of the system and break it. I mean, some of you guys get like that, right? Or is that just me? Well, <laughs> anyway, yeah, I ran into those issues. And basically, I'm going to show you how to kind of get around that issue and help fix it. Uh, basically, your controller would look like that, you know the light would be on and you would be running into those issues to where it wouldn't work like I was saying. And what you would do is you would uh, hold down the symbol there, the Xbox symbol, and you would press up on the D-pad and right on the D-pad. And after you do that, as you've seen, it shut off. It should shut off. After that, you should be able to turn it back on and it should work perfectly with uh, your system. All the controls should work. If it does not work, what you will do is you will do the same thing over again. You will hold the Xbox symbol down, press up on the D-pad, and right on the D-pad. It should shut off. Being that the controller shuts off, that shows you that your controller is in perfect working condition, basically. It, that means it's it works. It's perfect. It's a good controller. That it, it doesn't have any other issues, basically. So once you do that the second time, you will also go and unplug your Xbox from the power totally. You will take the power from it totally, uh, count to about 20 to 30 seconds, plug it back in, turn your controller on, and your problem should be fixed. It worked for me, so I'm just trying to spread the news and make you guys aware of the issue, and hopefully it works for you. If you guys ran, have ran into this issue, um, like, comment, comment, subscribe, you know, leave your thoughts, tell me uh, what you did. Maybe you did something different than this, and, and if you guys have this issue and this video has helped you, you know, hit that like button. I would appreciate it you know, and, and share your thoughts. Uh, once again, just trying to make you guys aware. 